Hello and welcome to Getting Started with Reflecting Site Extension for NLOG. My name is Callum Campbell and today I'll be talking about Reflecting Site Extension for NLOG. So let's get started. The Reflecting Site for Extension for NLOG lets you keep your existing logging infrastructure. It allows you to extend your app with Reflecting Site to see your logging messages in real time in our rich log viewer. It allows you to extend your it also allows you to extend your app with Reflecting Site router service to see live logging across the network. And the Reflecting Site Viewer is a powerful visual tool which provides you the ability to filter unwanted noise and view only the messages that matter most. You'll never need to look at your log files in the text editor again. For this demo, I've already gone ahead and downloaded and installed the Reflecting Site and the Reflecting Site router service. Both of these can be downloaded. Uh, from reflectsoftware.com. Now let's get to the demo and try Reflect Inside extension for NLOG. As you can see, we have the live viewer running with no logged information at this time. Now let's switch over to Visual Studio and we'll do a quick demo for receiving live logging from an NLOG application. This sample application is from our GitHub repository and includes a number of samples for working with, working with Reflect Inside. If you need to refer back to this demo, then please look at the MLog sample. At the moment, I have a console application that is already configured for MLog logging. I'm now going to extend, extend it to hook into Reflect Insight and have the MLog logging statements show up in the Reflect Insight viewer or any other destination. So as you can see here, we have a blank application. It's already configured for uh, it's already configured for NLOG. If I go to my program.cs, we have it using NLOG. We define my NLOG log manager and I'm logging some simple messages. So let's go ahead and use NuGet to add the Reflecting Site NLOG extension. So bring up the NuGet package manager. So we'll type in reflect insight software.insight.extensions.nlog. We'll now install the latest of that. Okay, now that the Reflect Insight extension for log is installed, let me clear the filter, go to the installed section. You can see now how we have NLOG installed. We installed the NLOG extension, which requires Reflect Insight, software.insight. And, and we also depend on newtonsoft.json. I'm going to close down NuGet. That's done. Look at the references. Here's NLOG and here's Reflect Insight, and here's the Reflect Insight extension for NLOG. Now that we've added the extension, let's add in the necessary configuration. So I'm going to go to the app.config. I'll use a satellite configuration file for, for the Reflect Insight configuration. So let me go in up here and add in a configuration section for Reflect Insight. I'm going to define my satellite file. So the Reflect Insight configuration is going to go into this file, reflectinsight.config. I have that added here. I'm going to update and log extension. So here's our extension for Flux Software. I'm adding this. That's it for my app config. I'm going to save that. I'm going to head on over to the Reflect Insight configuration and I'll finish up that config. So as you'll notice here, I'm saving, I have three destinations configured already. So I'm logging by default to the viewer. I'm going to log to a binary file. I'm also going to log to a router using TCP. The last bit of configuration I need to do is for NLOG. So I'm going to add in the, the log manager configuration for NLOG. And as you see here, I've named this NLOG instance 1. 
If I go to my app config and I go to reflect software configuration, we can see that instance names to use is mlog instance one. That is it for configuration, configuring Reflect Insight for nlog. Now that all the configuration is done, let's run the app and see what happens. So when I press a key, I'm going to do some logging. So let's bring up Reflect Insight. I'm going to press space. As you can see, Messages happened in real time, showed up in the viewer from nlog. Oops. The other destination that we logged to was the binary file. So if I come back here, go to my Solution Explorer, I'm going to right click and say Open File and File Explorer. I'm going to go to my bin folder, my debug. So I have a log folder. You can see here, and here's our binary files. Now it is late, so I have uh, switched over, files automatically rolled over to a new day. Now if I were to open this log file, it's going to open up in the log viewer, which is sort of a, a not a live viewer. Uh, it's a separate viewer instance. So I'll just let that load. And for sake of the binary file, I'll just show what that was configured here. So I'm saying to the working directory to a subfolder called log, and here's my log file. And the autosave configuration you use is save one. So if I come up here, here's our files definition. Here's my autosave, save one. And here's my configuration for that file. So on every new day, I'm going to create a new log file. If I were to ever hit a message limit of 1 million, I would create a new log file. On file size, it's set for zero, which uh, so there is no size limit. But if I had it set for 100, then let's say at 100 megs, it would create a new file. And the files will be recycled every 30 days. So basically, I'm going to keep 30 days of binary log files. So here's the log uh, viewer down here let's say yes for that and here's my log file so this is from the binary file so let me close that down now the third option for destination was the router so let's come back to reflect insight live viewer make this a little bigger we'll come down here to remote connections so i already have a remote connection uh, for my local uh, I will go ahead and turn that on. I'm now connected. I'm going to clear the view. Uh, yep. I also want to turn off receive messages online. Then this is for any local logging. So I don't want to see messages from my app. I only want to see them from the remote uh, router service. So I'll turn that off. Come back to our app. We'll press key again. Now all these messages are coming through the router service. Now let's stop their application. I'll show one further feature. Let me clear this. Uh, I'll leave it like that. Another feature of Reflect Insight for nlog is the ability to prefix certain log messages with an enter and an exit. So let's go ahead and show that. So what I'm going to do here for this message, I'm going to go and enter, 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 the space. And the last one here, I'm going to do exit. Okay, this enter and exit needs to, is case sensitive and it needs to be inside square brackets. And to further illustrate the demo, I'm going to add another method down here called do something. It's already got the enter and exit, and it's got a message inside called something happened. So let's call that method. So do something. Sorry for the typo there. So I'll run this. Make sure the viewer is clear. It is.
Okay, we go back to the viewer after noticing. Now you notice all the log messages for the first method, my info one, are indented. And then the second method called do something, it's also indented. Now you can collapse these. And when you do collapse them, they'll show that doesn't work. certain information. stop yeah well this brings us to the end of our demo to recap we installed the reflect insight extension for nlog using nuget we added the necessary reflect insight configuration to work with nlog we also added the viewer binary file and router destinations and finally we connected to the router service from reflect insight live viewer using a remote connection to view our logging information live and in real time for more information on Reflect Insight, please see our website and this YouTube channel for other great videos on Reflect Insight. I also recommend you browse through our documentation, and if you get stuck, please contact us at support at reflectsoftware.com, and we'll be happy to assist you. Thanks, and have a great day.